everyone. I, Priyanka Gandhi, principal of Blossom School, Nagpur, heartily welcomes you for this virtual inspection. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome the inspection committee team, which comprises of Mrs. Manisha Tyagi, principal of Maharaja Sawai Man Singh Vidyale, Jaipur, Rajasthan, and Mrs. Neeta Arora, principal of Modern Vidya Niketan, Bhatkal, Faridabad. I also would like to extend my warm welcome to the CBSE committee who will be part of this virtual inspection. Today, I will be taking you across through my Karma Bhumi. Let me welcome you to Blossom School, Nagpur. Blossom School, Nagpur is situated in the lush green area. The affiliation number is 11309019. The school believes in the all-round development of a child which pertains to intellectual, social, moral and physical upliftment. The school aims at providing all the required resources and opportunities to ensure the maximization of each student's potential. The students are encouraged to have freedom of expression and creativity and recognize their strengths and weakness. Let me take you to my Karma Bhumi Blossom School, Nagpur. It's, we have, this is the entry gate which is manned by the security guard. Here we have two gates, in and out. Here we also have the guard room. We ensure that the safety of the child is not compromised at any given point of time because safety is the paramount for us. Here we also have a special washrooms for the drivers, for the cleaners, for the other staff who are not part of the school or any visitor so that the safety of the school is not compromised. Now, let me take you across to my school. This is where we enter. The school focuses The school is learning beyond the classroom and textbooks and actively focuses on arts and sports. The emphasis on creating strong fundamentals through which the students can become the architects of their own future. The school thus prioritizes self-learning. Our school supports the overall development of the child and will encourage educational and moral excellence. We hope to achieve our goals in an orderly learning environment by following a core set of values teamwork, empathy, honesty and hard work. Now let me show you the compound wall of the school. The compound wall as you can see the full the school is fully guarded with a compound wall. It is the pakka compound wall built with concrete. Now let me take you across. Now let me take you across to the school. This is the parking area wherein the visitors parking, teachers parking and the school buses are parked. During school hours, the buses are parked outside. Only at the time of arrival and dispersal, buses and drivers are allowed in the school premises. You can see the vibe of the school. It's only already hustling and bustling with the energy of our students who are eager to learn every single day. Let me show you the kindergarten play area. The kindergarten play area has all the equipment and the toys which will make them very happy. During the kindergarten play area, play time, this area buzzes with energy which is very very infectious. Now, as you can see here students are already practicing their skates. So in our school, apart from academics, co-curriculars are also important part. This is the best part where students learn to balance. Balancing, as you see, is very, very important in life. Here, they just pass through this stepping line. They balance. They are swift enough, agile enough to put brakes wherever required. This is the most interesting part of the school as students love the skating period. They are properly monitored and guided by our skates coach. 
Now, let me take you through the fire safety arrangements which we have done. As I have told you, that safety is the utmost thing the school focuses on. Here, as you can see, we have a proper fire, proper fire safety state circuit, which is very very important. We have water hose, we have fire extinguishers. As you can see, we have pipes properly doing their job, which is very very important because this is where the safety is taken care. Now, after this, let me let me take you through my school building. As you can see, the school is beautifully. It's a beautiful building, always bustling with energy of the students. Welcome to my school once again. Let me take you to the reception area of the school. This is the reception area, again manned by the security guard. This is the reception where parents or visitors sit. We have the receptionist over here. We have the other people who help and assist the students and the teachers and the uh, parents. We have very well manned accounts department where all account proceedings are handled. This is the wall of fame where all accolades one by our students are kept and we hope to have many more in future. Once we are through with this, let me take you to the most important part. Now we are entering into the academic building which is welcomed by the Saraswati Idol. Every day, the moment student comes behind, as soon as the student comes to the school, the first thing they, is, they do is to pray the Saraswati Idol and that is how they start the day. Let me take you to the office, the administrative office of the school. This is the administrative office where we have admission counsellor. We have other admin people who help us in doing all the documentation. This is the manager's room manager's room and this is my office. This is my office that means the principal's office. Here all the uh, little bit art and craft activities which you are seeing which are put up on the board are done by the teachers which will be future in future will be done by the students. These are the small little bit of activities which we include to make the studies very very interesting. These are few paintings which are done by my students. Whenever they do anything good, we always put it up so that they are encouraged. Apart from this, we have also mentioned all the required details here so that the parents are aware what is the recognition number, you guys number, when was the grant received, what is the school code, email ID, website, contact numbers which are very very important. Now it's time to see what is happening in the classes. Here our kindergartners are enjoying the storytelling. Trust me, the storytelling is the best way to teach through which they learn about colors, characters, communication, expression which enhances their vocabulary. Storytelling is an integral part of our curriculum. Now, it's time to move to ahead. As you can see, the school is very colorful. All these words are put up by the teachers with the help of the students, which is very, very important because school is a place where learning is not only confined to classroom, but beyond that. And these type of goals, which are part of building as a learning aid, helps us to achieve that. Let us see what is happening in our computer lab. This is the computer lab. We have enough computers for the students. Every day students, they come here and they do the practical, they have the practical exposure. Right now, they are learning paintbrush, which is very, very interesting.
Here we have computer teachers who assist them on a day-to-day -day basis. Here we have two computer teachers who help them. So computer is the best uh, way to which they have they gain the practical exposure and it is the need of the art, especially after the pandemic. We have learned that the computers, AI, robotics are the way forward. So this is what we start right from our standard one. It's time to move ahead. Let us see what is happening. So recently the school celebrated International Plastic Bag Free Day where students were sensitized towards the use of plastic, why we should not use and what is the substitute for this. As you can see, the students have prepared bags with the help of the teachers and now they were they promoted, they were told that this is the way forward. So this is the small board which is put up by the teachers to sensitize them towards this. Because as a school, we totally believe that we should be an eco-friendly school and whatever we do in the school should be promoted. Here, again this is an interesting board put up by the teachers. Here, we have another board by the English department which talks about elements of a successful student. Here, these are the few elements which every child needs. The child has to be reliable, humble, patient, listener, risk taker, diligent. These are the few qualities which we look forward. Apart from this, we also manage the waste disposal. Here we have bins to sensitize students towards the correct usage of bins and how one should dispose the um, waste. Apart from that, these are the washrooms, which I will take you once I am through with it. The, we also have enough drinking water. On every floor, we have water cooler and we have purifier. Nagpur is normally hot, so most of the time we need cold water and these uh, water storage helps us to have cold water. So we see that the student gets proper uh, clean and um, portable drinking water. This is the maths board put up by the maths department which talks about different names of symbols like how addition can be called by other name, subtraction, division, multiplication. The board also talks about the shapes and the symbols. Here on this floor normally we have our primary department so this board will definitely help them. These are our classes. These are our classes. Now, let us come to the very interesting board, the Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat board. This year, Maharashtra is partnered with Sikkim. So, this interesting board is put up by the SST department to make the students aware about Sikkim. Here, we are talking about the monasteries, the um, all the valleys, rivers, birds, we have an interesting handbook which gives insight about the Sikkim. If you will go through this, you will feel as if you are in Sikkim. We have map which tells them that how this is, it talks about the costume, the culture, the heritage, the rich culture and heritage about Sikkim. After this, let me take you through the very important and the interesting part, the sports arena. We as a school believe that extracurricular activities play a very, very important role and sports play a very important role in this. Through sports, students learn about leadership, about accepting defeat and still not be a loser. That is what sports teaches us. So, let us see what is happening around in our sports arena. Let first thing which I will take you is through the swimming pool. Here, in the swimming pool, you can see that the tiny toys are already getting up. We have swimming coach who train them thoroughly. We, our students, have won various accolades in the inter-school swimming competitions. This is right now bubbling is happening. We ensure that the stamina is built, proper safety measures are taken. That is how the swimming happens.
After swimming, let us see what is happening in this other sports arena. We have athletic court, we have basketball court, we have a volleyball court and now we are entering there. We have coaches for each and every sports. Right now the students are gearing up for their athletes. Let us see who wins. Students are enjoying the volleyball in the other court. Students are having fun in the basketball court. This is the best time when they enjoy. And we also love them seeing on the ground. This sports teaches them how to be a good team player. You can also see the assembly area. Every morning we have the assembly conducted by the students which has spread, which has news, which has thought, presentations on the various issues which are happening so that the students become an aware individual. Here in the sports arena you can see the basketball coach, the volleyball coach, We offer wide variety of sports to our students. Apart from outdoor sports, we also have facility of indoor sports. We give them option of choosing any one sports. Let us see what is happening in our indoor sports area. We provide chess and carry and also archery. At Blossom School, we do understand that apart from academics, even co-curricular activities are very, very important and music plays a very important role. We provide option of Indian music and Western music to the students and they choose it accordingly and every week they have their classes. Let us see what is happening in our music class. We also teach robotics to our students. We have a special robotics lab wherein students come and they explore the new avenue of robotics. Here you can see standard 2 working on car operated robot called Air Tiny. They are so fascinated by this robot that they especially wait for this class every week. So you can see in and tiny being operated by our young tiny tots. They are well assisted by our robotics teacher. Here they have remote which, which they operate. This is one of the and the level increases as per the classes. Now let us see what is happening in our library. It's time to enter our classrooms. Our classrooms are very well maintained, ventilated. In each classroom, we have soft board representing birthday chart, house chart, timetable and students achievement corner. Students are undergoing test, I guess. Let us have they look at the other board which is again put up by the math department which talks about have you used math today. 
the school truly believes in the concept of building as a learning aid and this soft course really helps in that now let us see what is happening in our other classes so here we have standard 4 again we have soft course there teachers are busy in teaching students teachers opt for activity based learning test assessment worksheets we ensure that the curriculum is child friendly and the students enjoy coming to school because teaching is a joyful process and students should also be joyful during this process let us see let us move towards the library here again the another board which is which talks about the continent it's a very colorful board again put up by the sst department sick room this is the very important part here we have nurse property station here we have first aid box with all the necessary requisites so that whenever student feels uncomfortable we can give basic first aid that is how it is plus we also train our new teachers in basic first aid which is required we have enough beds for them so that students can lie down whenever they are uncomfortable and we also have a wheelchair for them after sick room it's time to see what is happening in library library plays very very important role it is the period the students look forward for a week here they come they discuss about the book and they submit their book review that is how we get to know that the child has learned the book our library is very well stocked and maintained by our library please welcome to our school's library here as you can see the books are very well stocked again we have a very colorful board to encourage students about writing we have proper reference sections we have books pertaining to all ages age group of the students here we have all our registers we have library stock register then we have uh, library register for fiction books then we have book issue register accession register all the records are very well maintained by our senior and junior librarian here as you can see the books from all the categories are very well stocked very well kept so that the student enjoys the reading reading plays very important role because it enhances the vocabulary of the student and develops love for language plus it takes them to the world where which is very fictional and which is very very interesting apart from that we have daily newspapers coming in and the students are encouraged to develop reading habit because reading newspaper reading makes us an aware individual so we have newspapers for the times of india the hitwar which is the nagpur production which is normally printed in nagpur we have lokpal we have navrabharat navrashtra all in three languages apart from that we have magazines which students love apart from reading regular books so we have india today this magic pot is very favorite among the students they really enjoy even i enjoy reading it we have champa which takes back to us to our childhood days we have champa in hindi english and marathi we also focus on gk books which is very very important to keep them updated as a school we promote students to participate in gk quiz competitions so that they enhance their knowledge here again you have can see that the books are there for all the classes even teachers refer their reference book from the library they come here they discuss they sit and they enhance their teaching learning process with the help of reference books right now the students are reading very interesting book they are reading ragri rangi kahaniya and panchatantra which they enjoy so here once the reading is happened they will be discussing about the characters who is their favorite character what they have learned from that character and what uh, vocabulary they have learned the new word apart from this this is the kid section here we have pinocchio rapunzel tenali raman here you can see that we have a book card for every book the students can issue book on a weekly basis they can uh, then once they return they can issue the next books even our facilitators our teachers they also love reading so even they issue books which they which is very very important because teaching is something 
which is an online, which is the continuous process which which we have to inculcate among the students because reading will be is the only thing which will improve their concentration, especially in the age of digital media where all of us are glued to the screens. So this gives them break from the screens. So as you can see, that library is very well kept. It has the boards which attract students. So right now it's grade 3 which is undergoing, which is enjoying their library period. So again these are the some books. Here I can see Ramayan. I have, we have encyclopedias. This is again for the senior section. Again you can see that we have for the senior secondary also though we do not have right now but we have ensured that the teachers get enough reading material so that they can prepare their lesson plans, they can add activity and make the teaching very very interesting. As a school, we, stu we sensitize students towards disposable of disposal of waste. So we have green bins and blue bins. Apart from that, on every floor, we have girls washroom and boys washroom. We also have water coolers on each and every floor along with the purifier. Nagpur being the hot region, most of the times it is hot. So we ensure that the students get clean and cold water whenever required. And this is how the water facility has been taken care of. Inside the washroom, we have proper partitions. And we also have the CWS in washrooms. The CWS in washroom is specially meant for the students with special needs. We also have wash basins and urinals with proper partition. On every floor we have girls washroom and boys washroom. Here you can see the centralized water purifier system. Here again we have water cooler which will which ensures the cold and clean water for our students. Here this is the girls washroom. Here again we have partitions. And here we can see the CWS and washroom. Which caters to our students with special needs. Here again we have urinals with partitions and we also have an incinerator which deals uh, to dispose the sanitary napkins this is just to promote the menstrual hygiene so the school has a special incinerator to dispose the sanitary napkins so this is where we have water process everywhere Here again you can see the fire safety equipment along with the hose and the fire extinguishers. You can again see the pipe. It's time to enter the composite science lab. The composite science lab comprises of physics, chemistry and bio. Our standard 9th and 10th students, they come here and they perform the practicals. Our lab is very well equipped to handle the students and to make them learn the practical things which is there. So this is the this, uh, Composite Science Lab. Our Composite Science Lab has all the very well maintained stock registers which maintains the inventory. Right now students are uh, doing experiment on mount of a leaf peel to show stomata. Here the teacher is assisting them to understand how it is done. We have enough specimens for them so that they understand. I think they have a leaf with them. May, please may I have? Is this a periwinkle leaf map? Yes. yes. So with the help of periwinkle, periwinkle leaf, they are going to understand that how a temporary amount of stomata is observed. So with the help of microscope, they will be doing it. Here you can see the physics apparatus here. Whenever they have their physics practicals, they can they come. This is the prism, this is the glass lab normally used for reflective index. Then we have magnifying glass, 
This is basically for concave and concave lenses. This is again the same part. We have enough lenses for them. This is a skeletal system which we have placed so that they understand the structure of bone, that which is the longest bone, which is the shortest bone, what is the name of each and every bone, because this is how they will learn about the biology. We have enough stock of the uh, chemicals for our chemistry practicals. Here we can again see the test tubes, the burette, sorry, not the burette, this, uh, the conical flask. So that they understand, they perform the practicals uh, over here. Apart from that, you can see that the students' practical notebooks are kept here only. Whenever they perform the practicals, they do it here. They write it and they submit it to the lab assistant and the teacher. Here you can see that we have enough charts for them so that they understand the concept in a very well manner. Right now, this chart talks about the excretory organ. Here you can see the 3D module of human kidney, which is very, very important. Again, we have a chart of typical plant cell, then the animal cell, because the differentiation between animal and plant cell plays very, very important role. Again, this chart talks about the excretory system, the sense organs like touch, olfaction, taste, sight, sound. This talks about the circulation, the circulatory system, which is very, very important. This board has showed the do's and tones that how, what we are supposed to do in laboratory and what we are not supposed to do in laboratory. We have again taken care of the safety. We have fire extinguisher. This chart, this chart talks about the structure of flower. Again, coming back here, we also have a 3D model of uh, lungs of humans. Then we have human anatomy. Apart from that, we also have structure of human eye because it's a very complex structure. So this is the 3D module of human eye. As you can see, these are the slides so that students can understand. This slide talks about mitosis, prophase, stage, plant. This slide talks about the acetobacter. Here you can see the specimen of animals which are mentioned by the CBSC. We have enough specimens for the students to understand the structure of the organism. Now you can have a look at the students performing the practicals. As I told that they are performing the practical to prepare a temporary mount of the leaf peel to show stomata. The material which they have taken is leaf of periwinkle, slide, cover slip, forceps, needle, cotton cloth, brush, rotting, rotting paper, watch glass, blade, dropper, glycerin, saffronin and compound microscope. All the practicals are performed under the guidance of the teachers. At no given point, the safety of the child is compromised. We also have exhaust fan for the students so that whenever they perform chemical practicals, they do not uh, they are not suffocated with the smell of the chemicals. All the practicals mentioned by the CBAC are done over here. This is the physics uh, apparatus which you people are seeing right now. This is standard 10 performing the practical. Here you can see the 3D model of human chromosomes. It's time to move out of the lab. Thank you so much, Sam. Now we are standing in front of smart classroom where we have digital interactive boards. We also have uh, digital boards in our classrooms also but this is a special classroom designed for the students. Whenever teachers want to demonstrate anything with the mode of audio visual thing, they come here and they enjoy. Let us see what is happening in our smart classroom. Our 
to the south pole. The axis of the earth from the north pole this to the south pole. This point of the earth around its own axis is called rotation. Rotation of the earth. When earth rotates, the earth is called rotation. The earth completes one rotation in 24 hours, which is one day. Because of the rotation, the earth is the main muscle. As the earth rotates, we observe that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west each day. The students were learning about rotation and revolution and the teacher was helping, was teaching them with the help of a teaching aid. Now let us enter the yoga room. Healthy mind, healthy body. Yoga is also one of the sports option given to the students. When they come and they perform the various asanas which are very very important for them for their healthy mind and healthy body. Right now the students are performing Tadasana which is important for their concentration. They are again trained and assisted by the yoga teacher. Yoga room. Let us see what is happening in the other part of the school. This is again the board put up by the English department which talks about the prepositions. It tells us that how prepositions are used, what is between, through, next to. These type of boards always help the students to understand the concept because prepositions play very very important role when it comes to English. Or Then we have other board which talks about the agreement between subject and word. So this is the very colourful board put up by the teachers. Again, this comes under the concept of building as a learning aid, Bala. As I mentioned before, on every floor we have dustbins, sensitizing students towards the disposable of waste. There, the girls toilet, boys toilet, drinking water, the water cooler is there. And again, we can see the purifier. Now we move up the class. Where we have classes running from standard 6 to 10. Here from this you can see the students. They are just finishing their swimming class and they are moving out. The school is very well ventilated. Now let us have a look at the corridors which are there and the classes. Here again we have standard 6. As you have seen every class we have soft course which talks about the birthday charts. Teachers are engaging in teaching learning process. This is the board put up by Hindi, Marathi and Sanskrit department which talks about the various authors. How do we greet good morning, like Suprabhat, Suprabhat and Suprabhatam. Very interesting board put up by the Hindi Marathism Department. This is the standard 8 which is happening. This is the 8th standard. Right now English is happening. English class has been taught. There are some sort of sentences which we follow in class. So, these sentences become the very part of our life. What are these sentences? Can somebody tell me? What are these sentences? Yes, please try. Very nice. When we communicate with others. So what are these sentences called? Can somebody tell me like if I say, uh, my name is Parash Jaiswal. What sentence does it describe? Let us see what is happening in the other classes. Again, we have standard 7th and 8th over here. This is the board put up by the science department which talks about DNA, which talks about the various media about the science and the uh, chemical colors. Again, this is the one of the class which is happening. We also have a very well maintained staff room. Whenever teachers get their free period, they come and they sit and they reflect upon what happened in the class, how they can improve their class. They, they also get some rest time over here. So we have a very well maintained staff room. 
Whenever they get free period, they, they can do their correction work. And of course, we do have some fun in the staff room also. After staff room, it's time to go to another lab, mathematics lab. Mathematics is very interesting and to give hands-on experience in maths is really very really important. So we have a specially designed mathematics lab where the mathematics teacher they come and they give hands-on experience to the students. Right now the teacher is teaching them about the surface area and volume. You can see all the 3D shapes which will and make their understanding in a proper way. It will be easier for them. Standard 8, 8 doing the, math, the mathematical experiment which talks about surface area and volume. Here again we have various charts put up for their better, better understanding like we have pair of angles, geometrical figures, circle, algebraic identity, symbols, shapes, measurement. After mathematics lab, it's let us see what is happening in standard night. The school truly believes in inculcating values like honesty, integrity, design, management. So time and again the teachers they keep on doing presentations. Even in our valedication classes, we teach these values to them. We also talk about in the junior classes about the good touch, bad touch, safe touch, unsafe touch because these things are very very important. It's time to see what is happening in standard 9th right now. I can see our physics teacher teaching them the concept and the teacher I guess is talking about light, is teaching light. It is showing at rest. Yes. Just write at rest. The object is at rest. The object is at rest. And the last question. What can you say about the motion of an object if it's speed time graph? Speed time graph is again? Velocity time graph? Okay. Speed time graph is what can you say about the motion of an object if a speed time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis? Straight line parallel to time axis. This is another interesting work. Hello. Which sorry, Which talks about Nagpur. It talks about Nagpur being the tiger capital, the period, the famous temple of Nagpur, the Diksha Bhumi, the river. Again, this has a very nice Nagpur guidebook. This gives us a glimpse of Nagpur city, which all of us know. It helps us to know about the city where we are living. Again, we have Standard 9 undergoing their mathematics class. Then we have our Standard 6 learning about the English. Our English teacher is educated there. As a school, we truly believe in inclusive education. To help our CWSN students, we have ramp specially made for them. Along with ramp, we also have railing which will help them to climb up the ramp. We have two ramps for entry and exit. So this is the other ramp which again has the railing and the ramp which will help them to move up and down. Blossom School, where we strive to provide a high quality education 
for all our students. We are a diverse and inclusive community of, community of learners, teachers and staff who share a common vision to empower our students to achieve their full potential and become responsible and compassionate citizens of the world. At Blossom School, we offer a rich and varied curriculum that caters to the needs and interests of our students. We have a strong focus on academic excellence as well as on developing the skills and attitudes that are essential for lifelong learning. We also encourage our students to participate in a wide range of extracurricular activities such as sports, arts, club and service projects that enhance their physical, social and emotional well-being. We value the inputs and feedback of our students, parents and community partners and we work together to create a positive and supportive learning environment. We celebrate our achievements and successes as well as learn from our challenges and mistakes. As the principal of Blossom School, I am honored and privileged to lead this wonderful school. I am always being unconditionally supported by my management, our president Mr. Anup Shah and our director Mrs. Meetu Anup Shah. We are committed to ensure that every student receives the best possible education and support that we can offer. At the end of this video, I would like to thank the inspection committee team members and CBSE team members for helping us in this virtual inspection. Thank you so much. Namaskar.